Hi, it's Martin here from Northern Beaches Websites. In this video, I want to show you how you can use our WooCommerce to Intuit QuickBooks plugin to create invoices and payments in QuickBooks when orders and payments are made on your WooCommerce online shop. Then, later in the video, I'll show you some of the other features provided by our plugin, including the two-way infantry and product sync. So to get started, once you've made a purchase of our plugin via our online shop, you'll receive a zip file of the plugin. First, we're going to install it. Go to Plugins, and then go to Add New. Click the Upload Plugin button, and then click Choose File. And then select the zip file, and then click Open. Then click Install Now. Then activate the plugin. You'll see a Settings link displayed just below the plugin's title. Click on that. On the plugin settings page, you can enter in your order email and order ID, which is provided on your purchase email. Below that, you'll see a range of sync settings, and then below that, a whole range of dropdowns where you can select specific accounts. But before we do that, we first need to connect your online shop to Intuit QuickBooks. We can do that by clicking the green Connect to QuickBooks button. Then search for the company that you want to use. You'll then be redirected back to the plugin settings, and if successful, you'll receive a green notice down in the bottom left hand corner. The page will now refresh. If the connection has been successful, you'll now see that the button will disappear. This particular online shop is in Australian dollars, and therefore it uses the GST tax. The settings may need to be tweaked a little bit depending on your currency and local tax laws. For this particular demo, I'm going to keep things relatively simple and I'm just going to check all the checkboxes here and I'm going to select some accounts here, including inventory items for create items as, sales of product income for use income account, cost of sales for use expense account, infantry asset for use infantry asset account, SKU for find matching products by, I'm going to select a GST for both QuickBooks tax selection and QuickBooks tax selection for non-taxed items. I'm going to enable create refund receipts and I'll select Westpac everyday business for the accounts receivable account and deposit to account. I'm just going to click save changes. Now what I'm going to do is do a test order for my WooCommerce online shop and show the invoice and payment in QuickBooks. What I'm going to do is go to products and I'm going to view a product that I've recently created. It's a simple product. I'm going to add this product to my cart and then click view cart. I'm then going to proceed to check out. This particular product has got the product cost, a shipping rate of $10 and a GST of $11. I'm now going to place the order. As you can see, this order has now been successfully received. I'm now going to go back into the back end of WordPress. And if I go to WooCommerce and Orders, you'll now see that the order I've created is now showing in the back end. And you'll see that automatically an invoice has been created in QuickBooks with a number 420. Let's check that out now. I'm now in QuickBooks and I'm just going to go to Sales. I'm now going to open the invoice. You'll see it's got brought in all the customer details from WooCommerce, including the customer's name and billing address and shipping address. And it's also brought across the product and also the shipping. And you'll also see it's brought across the tax of GST, which is 10%. And the balance due is the same amount as the WooCommerce order. Now, if I go back to my order, you'll notice that the status is currently set to on hold. That's because this particular order was made via a direct bank transfer payment. If you're using a payment system like Stripe, where you're accepting credit cards or Braintree or something like that, or if you're accepting PayPal, the order will be marked automatically as completed. And when that's done, the payment will be made automatically as well in QuickBooks. However, because this order has been paid by a direct bank transfer, the order is set to on hold. So I'm just going to mark that as completed, and by doing so, it's going to add that payment into QuickBooks. 
I'm just going to update the order now. You'll see in the right hand sidebar in the Intuit QuickBooks meta box, we've got the invoice and now also the payment being made. If I go back to QuickBooks and refresh the page, you'll now see that for this particular invoice, the payment status has been marked as paid. I'll now show you the product and inventory sync features of the plugin. What I'm going to do is create a test product and show how it gets created in Intuit QuickBooks. I'm going to go to my WooCommerce and go to Products and then go to Add New. I'm going to give this product a name. I'm going to call it Test Product Number 2. I'm going to give it a description. And also a short description. I'm going to give it a regular price of $200 and a sales price of $100. I'm going to go to the Infantry tab and give it an SKU, or Stock Keeping Unit. I'm going to call this Test Product Dash 2. And I'm going to click Enable Stock Management at a product level. I'm going to set the stock quantity to 100. I'm now going to click Publish. After the page is refreshed, You'll notice in the right hand sidebar the Intuit QuickBooks meta box and it has item 94. This means that the product has now been synced successfully to Intuit QuickBooks. Let's verify this in Intuit QuickBooks now. I'm going to go to QuickBooks and go to Sales and Products and Services. I'm going to find the product that I just created. Test product number two. We can now see that it's got the same SKU and product title as well as the description and the sales price and the quantity on hand. Now what I'm going to do is show the inventory sync feature. So what I'm going to do is update the inventory quantity for this particular product. I'm going to click edit and then quantity on hand, I'm going to set this to 200. Then save and close. Please note the Infantry Sync feature from QuickBooks back to WooCommerce occurs every hour. It's not an instant change. I'm now going to refresh the page. And you now see the Infantry now has 200. I'm now going to show the sync of new products being created in Intuit QuickBooks being created over in WooCommerce. To do this, I'm going to create a test product in Intuit QuickBooks by clicking on the new button here. I'm going to select Infantry and give the product a name and an SKU I'm going to select a category I'm going to set the infantry quantity I'm going to give it a description and I'm also going to give it a price. I'm going to select the tax. I'm also going to give it a cost of goods sold. And I'm going to click save and close. If I go back to WooCommerce and click on all products and refresh the page, you'll now see the test product number three has now been created with a stock quantity of 300 and a price of $100.